All right, so now we're gonna be working on the lining of the Desmond jacket. The first step for the lining is to take the lining facing and attach it to the other part of the lining. You're going to line up the raw edges. I'm using the reverse side of the French Terry as the right side. So I'm gonna have the fleecy side facing the right side of this fabric. Then you're going to sew along this seam right here and then open it up and then top stitch it. So then we're going to take the two front pieces that you just sewed together and top stitch and you're gonna lay the back piece of the lining right on top of it. And this is where we're going to sew the shoulders together. So we're doing the same steps as you did for the outer, but now we're doing it for the inside. So you line up these shoulder seams and you can clip these together. Then you'll sew them and you'll top stitch and you can do that for both sides. All right, now we're going to be attaching the sleeve. So you find the center of the sleeve, then you find the center of the arm this hole right here. Then you line up the centers and you can line up the edges. And then you're going to ease the sleeve cap into the arm. And then you're going to do that on both sides and then top stitch. So after it's sewn, you can open it up and then you'll top stitch along this edge right here. All right, now it's time to attach the collar. I found the center point of the collar piece and clipped it to the center of the back lining. Then I also measured how far it was from this point in where the collar meets on my outer piece and then I matched it up on this one so that they'll be even when I um, sew them together. And then you're going to clip along the side and then sew the collar to the lining. And then you can do that on both sides, so around in the circle. Okay, the collar is attached now. Now we're going to sew up the sleeve seam. So you line up the raw edges of the sleeve and clip those together. Then you go all the way up the sleeve until you get to that seam that's in the armpit. You can line up those two seams together. Then you're going to go down the side of the bodice. This is gonna connect the front lining with the back lining. and you'll clip those together as well. So we have the front lining to the back lining along the raw edges and then down the sleeve. You can go ahead and sew those together. So now that the side seams of the lining are done, we're going to put our main piece right side up and then you're going to lay the lining piece right side down. So right sides will be together. So you should line up these collar pieces and now we're going to sew around the whole entire jacket and you leave an opening to turn it. So I'll clip across the top of this collar. And then you'll go down the side of the collar Make sure your seam allowances are going the same direction. So my seam allowance on the main piece is going to be up and the seam allowance on the lining piece is also going to be up. I'll clip this in the corner and then go out to the rest of the collar and then you can go down this front seam. We're not going to worry about the sleeves right this second. That's gonna come next. So these are right sides together. You're going to clip through here. I like to leave the opening on the hem of the jacket. So then when I top stitch it, it top, stitch, top stitches it closed. And I think that that looks the best, but really anywhere that you feel the most comfortable leaving, leaving the opening is just fine. I found about like a four inch opening is totally sufficient. So then let's do the bottom. Line up these side seams clip those together and then I'll put another one right in the middle here and then right here is probably where I will leave my opening so I'm going to put a pin between where I want my opening to be since I use clips I use pins uh, when I want to remind myself to stop or that I need to do something differently and then we'll line up these side seams one more time on the other side. Clip these together. 
then another one in here. And then you're going to keep working all the way around. And then sew all the way around, leaving the opening. Now the lining and the main are sewn together and I left that opening on the bottom. Now you're going to clip the corners. So when you turn it, if you were to turn the jacket as it is, this wouldn't be a sharp point because you need to clip off this seam allowance. So you'll cut all of the corners down and make sure you don't clip through the stitching. And you can do that on all of the corners and then you can turn the jacket right side out using the opening that you left. Okay, now we have the jacket turned right side out and you are just going to top stitch all the way around everywhere where you just stitched from the inside. So around the collar, down the front, and then along the bottom. You're also going to stitch, top stitch close the opening that you left. So by folding each side in the 3 8 of an inch, line up those folded edges. Then when you top stitch it, they will stay closed. Okay, now the whole jacket is top stitch. We're gonna work on the sleeves. You should have the lining inside of the main. You're going to fold the lining a half an inch up so wrong sides are together. And then you can press this if you'd like. And then you're going to fold the main a half an inch under with wrong sides together as well. So this one is going to be folded under. You can press this, put some clips in it. Then you're going to slide the lining inside of the main. All right, so fold this over, slide the lining inside of the main, line up those, um, the seam, the side seam of the sleeve and clip these together. You're just gonna top stitch this sleeve closed. You could also add a facing if you're a little bit more advanced, but what this pattern calls for is to top stitch. I'm not doing the buttonholes or the cuffs, but this works just fine. All right, clip those and this. Okay, so then you're going to top stitch the, those all the way around and you're going to do that on the other side as well. Then you're going to take your belt piece and you can fold it if you wanted to do the um, the fleece side out, you would fold it with the right sides together and then sew. Um, if you want to do it the other way, you can do it the other way. I'm going to think of this side on the outside. So I'm going to fold it with the right sides together and clip down the length of the belt. You want to leave a little bit of a space for opening it. It's probably easiest if you do that in the center and then you're not turning one side really far and the other side not very far. So clip all the way down and then you can leave a space in the center. I'll use my pins again to mark that. And then, so we're going to sew along this edge. I like to do mine at, at an angle. Then sew along the long side, keeping the opening. And then at the other end, I'm going to sew at the angle again. Then you can turn it right side out and top stitch it. And then the belt will be done. And after you're done with your sleeves, your whole jacket should be done too. Um, an option that you have is to add snaps. So because we're using the belt, the belt's gonna go through these belt loops, cinch right here, but sometimes it will be nice if we added a snap here and then another snap here so that when you closed it, it would stay closed. So you could add two snaps or however many you want. Um, I'm gonna try this on her and then I'll mark where the snaps will go. But if you wanted to freehand it, I would suggest making the side seam straight and then seeing where the jacket naturally overlaps and then doing a couple of snaps right there. And that is everything.